It's been a long wait and even longer for Canadians looking to get their hands on the new and redesigned fully wireless Google Pixel Buds earphones. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and the Pixel Buds just launched in Canada this week, and I had a chance to test drive them in advance of that launch to see how they are and report back. I'll talk about the features of these truly wireless earbuds, the sound quality, and what sets them apart from other earphones. An early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and give me a sub, because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Let's get a good look at these. Upgraded from the original Pixel Buds, which had a cord between the buds, the new 2020 model, officially known as Pixel Buds 2, is now fully wireless. Pixel Buds are Google's smallest product to date and were created to offer a snug, secure fit that's still comfortable. They're designed to have a super low profile form factor and to stay secure and not move around even when you do. The Pixel Buds will come in three colors in Canada, clearly white, which I received, and coming later, they'll be almost black and quite mint, which I'm already coveting. These earbuds are sweat and water resistant with an IPX4 rating, meaning your Pixel Buds will stand up to water and sweat while you work out or commute in bad weather. Worth noting for some of you, these do not offer any kind of active or digital noise cancelling or ambient mode. The case is soft, smooth, and feels just like the nicest river rock you ever found, and it could double as a fidget toy too. The earbuds themselves, by the way, also have that pebble smooth feel and fit comfortably in my ears. They are also extremely low profile. Getting your Pixel Buds set up is easy. Just push and hold the tiny little button on the back and watch for the pop-up on your Google Pixel phone. Follow the prompts to configure them. If you have fast pairing with Pixel or Android, it's even easier and more automatic. If you're thinking of pairing these to another phone, that's easy too. Push and hold that button on the back and then head to your phone's Bluetooth menu and tap to connect. I tested the new Pixel Buds out with a variety of music, which I can't play for you because I don't want to run afoul of copyright laws. Also, you can't hear inside my head. So if you want to check out my test playlist on Spotify, I'll make sure it's linked up here. The sound quality of the Pixel Buds is absolutely great. It is well balanced with clear vocals and solid bass. The Buds don't lean towards either the high or the low end, and there's no tinniness and no raspiness. In short, the sound quality overall is outstanding. The Pixel Buds 2 have custom 12mm dynamic speaker drivers, which Google promises will deliver a rich, full sound that will sound great no matter the genre of music you're listening to, and I can definitely agree to that. As noted earlier, there is no noise cancellation in the Pixel Buds, but the ear tips do seal up your ears fairly well to kind of isolate noises from outside. This is known as passive noise reduction or sound isolation. There's also something called spatial vents in here that are supposed to reduce that plugged ear feeling that you get and let through just the right amount of environmental sound so you can stay aware. For me personally, I still felt that plugged ear feeling and didn't really notice any more ambient noise coming in. That's not a complaint. I think the fit and feel is good overall. I just didn't get much else from that technology. If you're using your phone for conference calls a lot these days, you know a good pair of headphones can be a lifesaver. The Pixel Buds promise clear calls thanks to two beam-forming microphones. The microphones in here focus on your voice while voice accelerometers voice accelerometers detect your jaw movement so that they know exactly when you're talking. And if you ask me, that is some futuristic ship lab. All of this technology packed in here means you can be heard in noisy or windy conditions, like when you're outside or running or biking or doing some kind of outdoor activities. To test it, I decided to grab the old Dyson Supersonic since it wasn't windy in here and see how I fared. But can you still hear me like for the most part? Yeah, because I've got the hair dryer blowing right at my face. Surprisingly, okay. my husband but said he was able to hear me it. fine, although he was oh. able to get some of that background noise. But Under in my duress. opinion, if you okay. can carry on a conversation cool. with the hair dryer running, that's Thanks, pretty good voice focus. Bye.
The Pixel Buds 2 here have what's called adaptive sound, and this technology automatically optimizes volume based on environmental noise, but it only works when paired to a Google Pixel phone. In theory, this feature will automatically adjust the volume of the buds when you're moving from loud areas to quiet ones, or vice versa. I didn't have a good chance to test this feature out in those kinds of environments, and I didn't notice anything major just by turning the feature on and off in the house, so I will have to report back on how well the adaptive sound works. Touch controls on the earbuds mean you can do almost anything with taps, swipe forward or back to adjust the volume, or tap to answer calls or hit play pause. I found these tap controls work really well. So how much juice do you get with the new Pixel Buds? Google says they should last up to five hours when you're listening to music and up to two and a half hours if you're talking on the phone before you need to place them in the charging case to recharge. When the charging case is fully charged, it will store multiple charges for you, and that should give you up to 24 hours of listening time and up to 12 hours of talk time. I would say that is about standard for truly wireless earbuds these days if you're looking to compare. Handily, the Pixel Buds charging case is Qi enabled and can wirelessly charge on any compatible charger. There's also in-ear detection enabled automatically if you pair your Pixel Buds with an Android device. If you lost your earbuds, you can make them ring. To ring them, they must be nearby and connected to your compatible phone. Just tap Find Device and pick which earbud you'd like to ring. The sound is quiet, but it'll do in a pinch. Like the previous Pixel Buds, there is built-in Google Translate in the new ones. There are actually two ways to use Google's translation features, in over 40 languages by the way. You can use them in real time with conversation mode or with the Google Translate app on your phone. You just tell the Google Assistant to help you interpret a language. Just touch and hold either earbud and say, help me speak whatever language. I tested this feature out by playing a Spanish video on YouTube and letting Google translate it for me, and I found it worked really, really well. You get the printout of it on your screen, and then the verbal translation comes in via the earbuds, so you can also hear it spoken. Yes, this has existed before, but it is still pretty cool having your own digital interpreter. Overall, these are great headphones, and I am positively wowed by them and think they're useful, versatile, comfortable, and easy to use. The audio quality is outstanding, and it's going to make listening to just about anything enjoyable. They're also very easy to get out of the case, unlike some other slippery wireless earbuds. If I was going to find stuff to complain about, I'd say I'm a bit surprised there is no noise-canceling technology or no ambient mode here. It is becoming much more common, and it's really handy to have on headphones. For that, I guess we will have to maybe wait for the Pixel Buds 3. Overall though, whether you're an Android phone user or not, you are going to love the Google Pixel Buds 2. They sell for about 239 Canadian dollars and you can get them from Google and most other retailers. If you want to read more about them, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've posted a full write-up. You can ask me any questions you have about the new Pixel Buds either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. If you like this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and give me a sub. As I said, it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me at Facebook.com slash TechGadgetsCanada.